Hey everybody, this is John Costigan and this is called how to leverage the higher levels to be able to get your deals done. So how to use that leverage. So, uh, and I think I referenced on an earlier recordings that um, I'm part of a Vistage speaking group and I and I speak a lot, a lot of times to CEOs around the country and there was one here locally in Raleigh that I spoke with and there was, um, um, there was a woman in the room, she's the CEO and she's a scientist, really, really smart and they had a very, very, very large deal. I mean like $50 million opportunity they're trying to close. It's been going on quite a long time. And and uh, we were able to talk about that. And and I think one of the things that she started to realize was she said, you know, I got so stuck down in this level, I forgot to leverage these people up here to kind of move that down. She goes, I don't think I used the, did the best, John, and, uh, of leveraging that. And she's she's brilliant, you know, wonderful, wonderful person. Um, but I think she kind of realized, hey, I, I probably could have done a better job of doing this. So, because uh, she said, "Hey, John, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm not sales. Really, isn't what I do, but I am the, the CEO of the company, and I, I'm, I've been working on this opportunity." So I said, "Well, you know, this reminds me of uh, what happened with one of my clients." And I told her the story that I said I had, I had a client in Dayton, Ohio, a large printing company that I was training for quite a while, and but I was about two months into it, and I was doing training. One of the things I did in class was I was making my live cold calls, and we found an opportunity where there was almost a million dollar opportunity we didn't even know about that I was able to uncover live right on the phone in class. Well. It's about two months later, a month and a half later, I get a phone call from somebody out of the procurement department. And they're like, hey, Mr. Costing, we want to reach out to you. We actually have your agreement in front of us. But we wanted that we know, you know, I know that you signed this off with our, our VP of sales, but we wanted to talk to you about this because um, this is uh, this is a, this is a lot more than what we usually pay other trainers. So we'd like to kind of renegotiate your deal. And I remember I was in an airport in Philadelphia going through security. And I was on my cell phone. I'm like, hey, no problem. I said, listen, do you mind if you just email your information and, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely get back to you. I'm just I'm traveling right now. And uh, she said, great. So I hung up the phone and I called up uh, the VP of sales and his name was Charlie. So I said, hey, Charlie. Uh, and, and remember, I have rapport with Charlie. He's the one who, he's the one who brought me in. And just like, just like this woman I was talking about here at the, the CEO, she had rapport with these people too. She did, but she kind of forgot to really leverage them when things started getting stuck down here. And um, so that's what made me think about this story. So I called Charlie and said, hey, Charlie, I got a phone call from this woman. Have no, have no clue who she is, and, and that's fine. She's out of purchasing, but she started asking me for. She started asking me a lot of questions, and she wanted to re renegotiate the price. and And Charlie said to me, he "Goes well. Did you happen to tell her that one of your calls you made like a month and a half ago uncovered a one point two million dollar opportunity for us?" And I said, "No, uh, nobody. But out of all due respect, I think you should tell her that, not me." And uh, he's like, "You know, you're right." Because if I do it, I sound like a vendor. But he does it, he's the person who's going, wait, we brought him in for a reason. He's bringing value that we didn't have before. That's why we're paying what we're paying him. So he's defending me, whatever, whatever Charlie said. I'm hoping it was something like that. But when I mentioned that story to her, she's like, oh my gosh, you're right. I probably could have done that. I said, yeah. I said, and you're still getting beaten up a little bit. I said, so call them, you know, call up your people up there who really want this solution and say, hey, I need you to go to bat for me and call these people because it's being stuck for quite a long time. And if you do it, you're the person who has the problem trying to get it fixed. Me, I'm a vendor. So long story short, I know the well, long story, leverage your relationships at a higher level. But then the real question is, do you have them? And if you don't, that's a whole nother video. Okay. So anyway, good selling everybody. Hey everybody, John Costigan here. The toughest part to any sale is getting in the door, right? Tell you what, click on the URL below this video or go to costigantraining.com slash free week. Take the first step of solving this huge problem of getting in the door. It's five days, five clips, less than five minutes. Click on the link. We'll see you in a few seconds.